Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for SBAC review day two and on this page we're working on the percents problems and that's problems 11, 13, 15, and 17. Starting with problem number 11 it says to fill in the blank to make the statement true. 30% of some number is 60. And to solve each of these problems, I can use either of these two equations. This is the one that we learned yesterday, that the part of something is equal to the percentage times the whole. Whole is the whole thing. Or, what we learned earlier in the school year, last semester, was that the part out of the whole, or the part divided by the whole, is equal to the percent divided by 100. In each, I'll show you both ways of how you can use it. So first, let's figure out between the part, the holes, and the percents that we have. So we have the percent, right, the percent here, the percent here. We know that that's this, that's the percent. The percent of, and percents are always out of the whole. So in that case, the blank what we don't know is the whole. I'm going to put a W right here. So we have the percent of whatever the whole is is equal to 60, which means the 60 is going to be the part. Right, the part. So we have the part, we have the percent, we're trying to find the whole. So if I want to use my equation here, I know that the part, which is 60, is equal to the percent, which is 30%, times the whole, which we don't have. So I'll put a W for that. And then the first thing I can do is I can convert my percent into a decimal. So then I would have 60 is equal to, 30% as a decimal is 0 0.3 times W, the whole. And to get W all by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.3 to undo the multiplying by 3. And then so from here, I have W, the whole, is equal to, and then I can use my calculator for this, 60 divided by 0 0.3 is equal to 200. So 30% of 200, if I have a whole of 200 and I take 30% of that, I get a part of 60. That's one way that you can solve this. The other way, and I'm going to use this method here, so the part out of the whole is equal to the percent out of 100. So I know that the part is 60 out of the whole, we don't know what the whole is, so I put a W, and it's equal to the percent, which is 30%, out of 100. Percent out of 100. And then I can look at this as equivalent ratios. I look between these two top numbers. How do I get between 30 and 60? Well, I'm taking 30, and I can multiply that by 2. And if I multiply the numerator by 2 across that way, I can multiply the denominator times 2. And then so then 30 times 2 gets me 60, 100 times 2 gets me to 200. So then I know that W has to be equal to 200, which is the same answer that I got on the left side. So the whole is 200. 30% of 200 is 60. So as you can see, both methods work, and you can use whichever method you feel more comfortable with. Okay, let's look at the next one. Number 13. 45 is blank percent of 50. All right, so let's identify what's the part, what's the percent, and what's the whole. 45 is blank percent. So we know we want to find out what the percent is of 50. So it's always the percent of the whole. 
And so then that would be 50 is the whole, put a W over that. And 45 then would have to be the percent. I mean, not the percent, the part. So 45 out of 50 is some percent. Let's do this way first. The part equals the percent times the whole. So the part is 45. And it's equal to the percent, which we don't know yet, times the whole, which is 50. And I want, if I want to figure out what the percent is and get the percent all by itself, I have to divide this side by 50. And if I divide that side by 50, I divide this side by 50 to make it stay equal. And that means the percent, right, because these 50s cancel out, and I'm just left with the percent, is equal to 45 divided by 50. So I can use that, use my calculator. 45 divided by 50 equals 0 0.9. So the percent is equal to 0 0.9. And 0 0.9 is the decimal, though. And 0 0.9, if 0 0.9 is the decimal, then the percent is 90%. So 45 is 90% of 50. Or 90% of 50 is 45. Let's try it the other way. Remember that the part out of the whole is equal to the percent out of 100. So we know what the part is. It's 45 out of the whole, 45 out of 50 is equal to the percent, which is what we're trying to figure out, out of 100. I check my equivalent ratios. I have two numbers in the denominator. I look between 50 and 100. How are those related? Well, I know that 50 is being multiplied by 2 across this way to get to 100, which means that whatever is here has to be times 2 coming across this way. So it's 45 times 2 is going to be my percent, and 45 times 2 is 90. So I know that the percent is 90%. Same answer here. All right, now you can try number 14 on your own and come back to check number 15 when you're ready. OK, number 15. On a team, there are three sixth graders and two seventh graders. What percentage of the team is seventh graders? So we're going to try to figure out the percent. We know that the part is equal to the percent times the whole. So there are three sixth graders and two seventh graders. We're trying to figure out what percent is seventh graders. So the two seventh graders here, that's my part. My whole, they don't tell me, but I can figure it out. The whole is how many people there are on the team altogether. And if there's three sixth graders and two seventh graders, the whole is five. And I'm trying to figure out what the percent is. So if the part is 2, and that's equal to the percent times the whole, then the percent times the whole of 5, the whole is 5, then to get the percent all by itself, I can divide both sides by 5, and then I know that the percent is equal to, right, these 5's cancel out. And I'm just left with 2 divided by 5 on this left side, or 2 fifths. 2 divided by 5 equals 0 0.4, or 4 tenths. And 0 0.4, 4 tenths, that is what it is as a decimal, as a percent, that is 40%. So I know that 40% of the team are sixth graders or seventh graders. 
40% are 7 graders. That's one way that you could solve it. The other way, if we wanted to think of it as part out of the whole is equal to the percent out of 100, let's try that way. So the part is the two 7th graders out of the whole, which is the two 7th graders plus the three 6th graders, so five people total. The part out of the whole is equal to the percent out of 100. We're trying to figure out what goes here. Between 5 and 100, how are these numbers related? Well, I have 5 times 20 gets me to 100. So I can do 2 times 20. And 2 times 20 is 40. So 40%, which is the same thing that I got right here. So that works. So 40% are 7th graders. OK, now you can use one of these two methods to try to solve number 16 on your own. When you're done, you can come back in and check on number 17. Oops, sorry, there you go. Let's read it. In a school with 200 students, 45% are males. Select all the expression that can be used to find the total number of male students. In this one, I think it's easiest to use this equation. The part is equal to the percent times the whole. So if we know that the part is equal to the percent times the whole. And if it's asking to select the expression that can be used to find the number of male students. The number of male students, that's the part. All 200 kids in the school, that's the whole. Put a W over here. Sorry, it's getting a little crowded. And we know the percent. It's 45% out of the whole. So the part is equal to the percent, which is 45%, times the whole, which is 200. So the number of males, which is the part, is equal to 45% times 200. So let's check over here on the left. Do we see that anywhere? Not quite. We see some things that are close. So here's what we have to do. 45%. We see fractions here and some decimals. So then I think to myself, well, 45%, what is that as a decimal and what is that as a fraction? So first, as a decimal, 45% is equal to 45 hundredths, which is 0 0.45. So here, 0 0.45 times 200, that's right here. That one works. And then as a fraction, 40 percents are always out of 100. Percents are always out of 100. So 45% is the same thing as 45 out of 100, right? 45 hundredths. This is 45 hundredths. So then if the part is then also equal to 45 hundredths times 200, I look for that. That's not this one. It's not this one, but it is this one. 45 hundredths times 200 is the same thing as 45% times 200. Okay. Not too bad. And now you can try number 18 on your own. Get your teacher check, and you should be all done with today's review.